What's up guys? Thought I'd just come out here tonight just for us to have another chat. Uh, videos like this don't usually get a lot of views, but I like doing them every now and then because a lot of times the comments, the interaction that they get is from a lot of you guys that are regulars to my channel. And I try to reach out to you guys as much as I can. Look over the wind, guys. You can kind of see that it's just a little bit crazy here. We're expecting some storms to come in. And just like the storms that are coming in to this area, uh, it's kind of a parody of what we're seeing in our country. You know, we all know that there are some storms coming. Uh, you know, if you're paying half attention to what all's been going on around you, you know that there are things that are just not right here. Uh, you know, our border is a disaster. Uh, the economy is a disaster for the average working person. Um, and growing tides of war, talks of war, rumors of war, uh, you know, and I think that it's something that we should all be paying attention to. You know, if you don't uh, pay attention to what's going on around you guys, you're just going to become a victim of what's happening. And you don't want to do that. You want to pay attention to what's going on around you. And I really don't know what I'm going to go, the direction I'm going to go in this video, but I just wanted to come out and talk with you guys for a minute. I think that anyone that is just half-heartedly paying attention knows that things are not right now. That the average worker is being crushed, that the average person is just being overwhelmed. You know, just going in where you work at. And when you think about the people you work with, about the struggles that they're facing, and how that is just a growing stress. It's a growing stress in this country. And for the most part, there's a lot of folks out there that are just not paying attention. Uh, you talk to people around you, uh, there's a lot of folks out there that they're just oblivious to it. And that is part of the problem. There's too many people that are just complacent. They're not paying attention to what's going on. And they basically just go along with the flow. And that's the worst kind of people that you could be around, okay? You don't want to get into that mix. If you are, uh, I guess you could say, in a herd of lemmings that are all headed off of the mountain, uh, you know, you're just going to go off with them or you're just going to try to do something. And I'm talking in this video to some of you guys out there that know there's something wrong and you're trying to get away from that mess. First thing is you're going to have to accept the fact that some of these people are just not going to listen. You can try talking until you are blue in the face. They're just not going to listen. They're not going to listen to you. So the best thing to do, what you can, is you can try to prepare for yourself, for your family. And even with them, you know, there's a lot of folks out there that struggle with their family, trying to get them to pay attention on what's going on. And that's kind of where it can get hurtful for people that are having to see their family members. They could easily get caught up in the mess that's happening. But at the same time, guys, you know, we can't stop. We've got to be willing to say, look, you know, this is my family. I'm going to take care of them. And you're going to have to step up and prepare for them on their behalf. Uh, do things necessary to help when something happens and they need to be provided for. You know, especially those of you guys out there that have older parents, things like that. That's, that's a given. Uh, you know, you've got to be willing to help the people that cannot help themselves. I mean, we are literally biblically commanded to. Uh, you know, and the way that things are going in this country, guys, uh, the fact is, if God doesn't judge this country, he's going to have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know that that is going to happen eventually. Uh, we know that this country is going to face the ultimate turmoil. Uh, it has happened in history many times over. You know, that's something that is just unquestionable because every country, every superpower throughout history has had a major calamity. And for us, who knows when it could be? You know, the signs are there. So, you know, and, and there again, guys, it's just kind of a rambling video. But I want to hear some interaction from you guys because I know there's a lot of you out there that think the way that I do. Uh, that are regulars to this channel, Gary, Terry, a few others out there. Uh, you know, I talk, I try to interact with you guys in the comments. Uh, but guys, uh, I really, there again, guys, I don't know where to go with it. I think that each of us need to pay attention. We need to be mindful of our surroundings, mindful of those around us, and prepare, guys. Become as self-sufficient as possible. You know, that's the key. You know, get closer to God, 
learn how to use your firearms, learn how to provide the things that you need, uh, provide for your own security, provide for your own food, hunt, grow garden. You know, it's getting close here in this area, being a rural area. There's a lot of folks getting ready to start setting out gardens before long. Uh, there's folks out there doing uh, various agricultural things. That's something that you should look into doing yourself. If it's just a small garden full of a few basic things, get started. That's what you can do. You know, learn those skills. Anyways, guys, uh, just more rambling. A uh, long way to go to say that we all know that something is not right. You know, and it's up for us just to be ready. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Check out all the links down below. Share the video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.